Okay. Hello, hello. Good evening. Uh, where is my document? Oh, here it is. Okay, seems that this time notifications probably was working. Okay, that's good. Hello. Hey, Beats, Beats Spectre. Hey, uh, Control Dev. Hello. Okay. Hello, YouTube. Hello, Twitch. Good evening. Let's, let me find my boiler plate. Boiler, boiler plate. Swift UI boiler plate. Okay, here it is. Yo, yo. Let me pop out the chat. Okay, we have one chat, we have another chat. Good evening, Nico. Okay, cool stuff. Oh. Sub on Twitch, thank you very much, appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Botrix official, huh. Oh, sorry, that's Leo's vault. That's Leo's vault. Didn't sell notification, thank you, super cool. Okay, what are we doing today? So we are chat running on YouTube and on Twitch, that's amazing. Levels world. Become a subscriber on chat. <laughs> cool stuff. Thank you. So I would like today to play a little bit with boiler plates. You know what I'm talking about? There is um how was mm -mm, how was that guy? Super cool creator on, on YouTube. Will I see it in notifications here? No. Mm -mm. Mar, 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 something. French guy living in Thailand. No, living in Bali. Mark. Yeah, Mark. He basically created uh, interesting thing. So name it ship fast kind of thing. That is like a boilerplate for, uh, let's say for web developers. Basically you have some backend, you have some uh, payment integration and so on and so on. And there are plenty similar kind of uh, tools for Swift as well, which is kind of interesting that in very short period of time, shitload of, uh, I don't know, copycats maybe not copycats just basically copied that idea and kind of started to uh, build it for ios as well nothing bad in that that's just perfect to find something that works and kind of try to replicate it and i found quite a few similar products for ios as well ship that up probably this landing page kind of looks good uh, favorite one was copy. There were few. There were few kind of bad. Oh, basically, that's the same. Oh, so I somehow didn't copy. Okay, Control A, Control V. Come on. What's wrong with me? Oh, that link doesn't work. Okay, whatever. There was... Uh, okay, another one. Wrap fast. Also kind of cool. Basically, if you will kind of take a start to look into them, they look very similar. They priced it very similar. I, I'm not kind of making the same 
thing because yeah why but uh, generally I kind of like that idea that uh, there is some kind of boiler boiler plate kind of uh, project to start application quickly this one landing page doesn't look nice comparing with other okay it's okay but others looks better interesting that they are priced exactly the same it seems that uh, I don't know maybe they are kind of looking on each other and kind of comparing prices I don't know which is kind of okay -ish, but uh, just interesting thing around 200 bucks okay that's a little bit different but basically you are kind of you can buy here templates of the project would you ever work on startup for free but get stake in the company now <laughs> never I better build than stuff for myself than for others how are you today I am great I did I, I was working on freelance projects on the uh, during the day then I recorded kind of first version for video about this keyboard will edit that probably mm, tomorrow before work and after work yeah no I'm kind of working on this stuff so yeah the main point my my main point was that this looks very interesting product and uh, basically this ship fast where I saw original idea okay doesn't matter who is original day uh, where I saw it first time basically this one very interesting idea because you are kind of have some boilerplate project which you are kind of selling to others to help build projects I was thinking eh, that's kind of that's nice idea because you kind of have everything that you need in the application and I was thinking when I'm building applications I'm not building them too often but when I'm starting to build applications that kind of takes uh, a lot of time to basically build that base of the application and usually that is same same you know but you have payment implementation some database what else not some analytics and so on and so on and I was even thinking oh maybe I should buy one of those boilerplate kind of projects just to kind of have some base and kind of build applications faster but then I was kind of thinking man eh, that doesn't make much sense for anyone who can develop applications but I would like to build that similar kind of boilerplate uh, project for myself and use it for upcoming applications just to kind of build and ship it faster basically I already have all the base and then you just plug in your application's main functionality and basically ship it. And yeah, exactly, that will be kind of launching application, I don't know, 10 times, maybe two, maybe three, maybe five times faster, not 10, but whatever. So yeah, that's what I will, that's what I will do today. I'm, I'm not building it as a product to sell, to try to compete with guys who already made it. Good idea. It's, perfectly fine but uh, sure I'm not going into this overcrowded market uh, to build another one boilerplate project and try to sell it I'm building it for myself okay what we have question Alexander good evening I'm torn between web development uh, sorry let me add my stream deck here to be able to okay so I'm turning between web development and iOS development I have been doing front end dev for three years now and I'm 24 but I love Apple products a lot especially apps any advice um, if you are already for three years in the career uh, web development front end yeah I personally will kind of keep working in that job and spend free time so on uh, kind of digging into the in the app in, not in the iOS app development to see do I really like it or I just feel that I like it you know 
because grass is always greener on the other side of the fence, you know, <laughs> that saying. But uh, mm, I will not kind of drop what you already started and jump to start from scratch something because after three years you already kind of feel more or less confident in the web development you are not junior already but probably you are not senior yet and if you will drop everything and will start from scratch you will be junior again you will be kind of on first kind of level again and you are not even sure if you like it you kind of like apple products and you think you would like apple development but you don't know I will start iOS development on site to see how it works. What is extension you use for activity monitor? On the top of the screen, do you mean... Do you mean this one? That's uh, how it was named. Something iStats, I guess. Yeah. iStats menu. I said something where they have the description. Oh, I found it. I said menu. Yeah, exactly. You can configure them how kind of more detailed, less detailed. Eh, I don't know. It's kind of cool. You have weather here as well. Oh my gosh, we'll have rain, 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 rain. Amazing spring. Okay, whatever. Flutter is the best for making apps, probably for you. Do you think no code will replace development? No, I don't think so. Flutter is the best to make Flutter apps. That's I can agree with this statement. Made up already, not published yet. But made up to read manga better. Yeah, exactly. Do like that, yeah. Not a fan of how website display manga, so I made an app. Perfect, amazing, yeah. Yeah, I agree. I also like Swiss, Swiss UI. Which Chrome team? I have no idea. I need some advice, if that's okay. Yeah, building high myself. I feel like I'm falling behind so much. And out of touch with dev community. I used to do a lot of public speaking, giving workshops. In eager to start my blog, maybe socials, and relearn it all from start while documenting. Uh, I think... Uh, I think that uh, building your personal brand, that's very important. Uh, restarting and kind of the socials and so on. Yeah, as, as also. About writing blog posts, sure, you can do that. But uh, I will kind of uh, focus more on those social platforms where everyone is right now. Sure, you can write on, you can post those posts on blog as well, but I will kind of look into the Twitter. Twitter is still most used. Uh, a social network for written content yeah there is that is a mess part of people move it to the mastodon and so on but whatever yeah why not i think you should do that you should do that why not lava swakers hey did you fully switch to your macbook yes no pc is somewhere behind behind me here the PC basically is used by my daughter for gaming and school, and I'm sometimes using it for gaming. I am not using it anymore. Uh, I sometimes kind of thinking could be cool to kind of get a new um, PC for gaming and streaming, but I don't want to deal with two, two, two computer setup. Okay, so basically idea is uh if i'm looking for those projects what i what i found and i don't know if i found all of them i like landing page of this one uh, i don't care about landing page i will not create landing page this one is kind of nice uh kind of stolen very nicely stolen from 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 
from this somewhere I saw it kind of similar with those arrows. Okay, whatever. But if you are looking to get one of those boiler, boiler plates and buy them or what else not, I think this one by Mario is a good one. By Maros, sorry. Maros, not Mario. Maros, uh, I following i'm following maros on socials and i'm kind of followed how he was working on his own apps for the last maybe two years yeah he's doing well and uh, i took a look on documentation basically documentation here is uh, quite well how we can find documentation guides it was somewhere oh maybe somewhere here oh here it is Actually quite well documented. Apple sign-in, Google sign-in, onboarding, all that stuff. So, and yeah, basically what I'm thinking, I have some kind of custom components like banner view for ads. I have basically multiple stuff. I could have that in my kind of core project and then it will be easier for myself to synchronize that with all the other projects that I'm kind of building. I do not really need Apple and Google sign-in, but... Uh, in a purchases, yeah, sure. Some kind of uh, settings, uh, analytics, all that stuff. Yep. Okay, whatever. Let's open Xcode. And I will start new project again. Now, also, we need that Apple privacy manifesto in every new project. And plenty of stuff. How I can learn iOS development? You open Google <laughs> or YouTube directly and just Google how to learn iOS development. But I have a few links for you to make it easier. I don't remember that command was learning or learn. Let's see. Maybe learn. Oh, here it is. Yeah, there are a few tutorials that I personally like and recommend. Mm. Somehow it cut off half of the message, but okay, whatever, that's a good start. Hey, Leiduk, hello. Yeah. A long time no see, indeed, sorry, yeah. Uh, kind of little bit, I don't know, busy or lazy or both. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start with new project. That new project will be not Visionos. Why Visionos? iOS. I will go iOS only. My recommendation for everyone who is kind of starting new project just start with iOS only. You don't need Apple Watch app on beginning. You don't need iPad app. You definitely don't need <laughs> Visionos app. Sure, you can choose multi-platform. We don't really need it. So, Swift UI storage. Oh, interesting, actually, I never kind of started with Swift data kind of storage added by default. I started with core data. There is a shitload of bad boilerplate code if you choose core data. In my projects, I added core data by hand later, but uh, okay, let's keep it. Swift data, we'll see what kind of boilerplate uh, it will generate. And cloud kids, that's kind of interesting option, but let's do not let's do not use it already in the this boilerplate project. Oh, as always, how to name the project, right? Swift UI. No, no, no. Swipe it. Boilerplate. I don't know. Maybe later I will see it. Oh, that's a good name, actually. Hey, look. Seed. For project? Yeah, that's a good name, actually. 
seed. Cool. Thank you for it there. That's really good, actually. Seed. Yeah, why not? Let's go with seed. Yeah, let's create it in developer. Actually, hint for you. If you will create folder name a developer in your uh, in your Mac drive, you will get this nice hammer here automatically. I have the same thing for any app panel and mobile. Yeah, great. I didn't have it so far. I don't know. I, I'm kind of making apps for so many years, but I never kind of built kind of boilerplate code for myself, which kind of, I don't know, dumb, but I don't know. I, I'm kind of uh, for freelance projects for last six years, I was working for same two customers basically switch at them time to time and that's it so and they already have ongoing projects so didn't start new project for them no not six maybe less but whatever yeah and for my own applications i do not create applications new applications too often it was i don't know maybe one app in a year and maybe two if you build some test projects, you don't really need everything in the test project. If you are testing just one feature, something you don't need. Analytics, payments, everything you know. Hey, Chriso. How's it going? Great to see you streaming. Yeah. Thank you. Are you working on a new project? Uh, yeah, I'm kind of building. Currently, I'm building base boilerplate project to use it as a base for all the upcoming projects. I want one, and I, I know one project which I would like to build, but I will start with this base. That's a sleeping kind of related application, which I would like to build. Okay, what do we have currently in base project? We have preview assets. What are preview assets? I don't know, app icon, empty. Okay, app icon empty, item, okay, that's data model, probably, right? Yeah, something like that. Swift data, data model, content view. Oh, basically that, oh, interesting that, uh, that's actually quite nice. This Swift data do not generate too much uh, crap. Here is model configuration. Yeah, basically here it is. Swift data model initialization. This is data model for our Swift data and content view. What we are doing here in this content view. For each item in items and items is our kind of data and data model yeah this will be not useful in the in the demo project in the seed but uh, whatever but basically you but that's actually cool okay let's build the project that's actually cool you already have kind of working a swift data database you can create new items and add them and show them to the screen not bad have you made any Apple Vision project apps yet? No, I didn't. Uh, I think we are super early with Apple Vision Pro and there is no need to rush and uh, most of the indie developers can, <laughs> I don't know, let's say skip it for now. I will see, also uh, kind of interesting, it's uh, for now, I do not hear, where is my simulator? I do not hear any 
let's kill the simulator it somehow doesn't start and let it launch it again oh let's go with 15 pro so yeah currently i do not hear much news from uh, about apple vision pro i uh, I didn't hear any success stories yet. Okay, there are a few, let's say it's a uh, third party YouTube application, I think got a lot of installs and mm, plenty of sales. But that is more like, uh, I don't know, something outstanding. But most of the applications, there are few on the Apple Vision Pro. They are not getting many sales because there are not so many active devices and what I am worried the most about is that we are not hearing much about I don't know something new from Apple for Apple Vision Pro we'll see what we will what we will hear what we will see in the WWDC but uh, yeah currently it's it looks like very very slow start maybe you will hear more about it when Apple will release it worldwide, but I don't know. I've done VR development with Trace in the past and it was really hard. I don't know what the Apple Vision Pro development is. Oh, it is not super hard because let's, let's say so. Most of the applications, but uh, if you use an iPad, basically if you use that iPad and if you use that Apple TV, then most of the applications basically are something like something in, in between Apple TV and iPad applications. And yeah, of course, those are not kind of full immerse 3D, uh, what else, not uh, virtual reality applications. And yeah, that's a little bit different than what you are talking about, but those are that's how most of the applications currently looks in Apple Vision Pro. And I think for me as a user, it's not very interesting. And I do not see myself developing something like that or something kind of more difficult, like you are talking for real virtual reality or argumented reality, argumented reality. Hey, Gio Gio, hello. Oh, I don't like this song. It feels somehow... Can I close this? Oh, that's horrible user interface. How... How you're satisfied with this? Not satisfied. Go away. <laughs> Come on. I need controls. It's crazy. Really? It's so bad. I need controls and I am getting questionary. <sighs> Amazing. Very, very helpful. I think this uh, questionary. Good example. How do not uh, ask for feedback to the customers. Hey, Tuna. Hey, East, hey, East Ruxis. How can I start as a freelancer with Swift and Swift UI? Uh, lawyer work. Thank you. Um, I started as a freelancer with Swift when Objective C was very strong. I started in 2016 freelancing, and Swift was released in 2014. So basically, that's the same like today. Swift UI. I started on 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 Upwork. Here is the video. Here is the video how I basically, where I was looking for projects and so on and so on. Okay, this Swift UI, Swift data thing is cool, but this content view eh, doesn't really kind of matter. We can leave it for now, but let's think what I would like to add. I would like to add packages for Revenue Cat for sure. Um, 
Let's see. Actually, I implemented Revenue Cat from scratch. I, I'm adding new features, I don't know, like Revenue Cat Paywalls and so on, but from scratch, I implemented Revenue Cat probably two years ago, last time, maybe more. Let's see what is needed. Still using the split keyboard, have experience. Yeah. I will say I'm surprised that uh, for, in short, actually I wrote a script and recorded that kind of A roll for the video. I hope to release it maybe this week or early next week, but I'm, I'm surprised as well that I'm kind of still using it. And uh, in short, I was switching to the regular kind of, not this one, but whatever, that one actually regular keyboard on the beginning because it was kind of hard to type but you know what after about one and a half two weeks i was so used so happy to have that this cluster uh, tomb cluster or how you name it basically thumb buttons there are 60 of them and comparing with this keyboard where you have for both two thumbs just one button it's it's very big difference so price tag on that keyboard i don't know it is 625 bucks but i got it for free it was sent to me for free i didn't bought it just in case my wife is watching you know <laughs> no i didn't bought it for you but uh but yeah that price tag is crazy but uh it is good but it's kind of very tricky because i had i used i used uh I use a different kind of this one keyboard basically there is this thumb cluster which which is kind of big and it is kind of massive and you have place for your hand to rest i have another one this one this one i bought for uh, using my own money and i don't know i i didn't really like it I didn't start to use it, it didn't kind of, I don't know, I will try to use it again after when I was kind of started to use split keyboard with this one, I will try to use this one again to see maybe I have a second opinion about it, but I don't know, I do not like it, it's kind of feels way more plasticky, it's kind of eh, not so, I don't know. So. But uh, video, review video is coming soon. <clears throat> Jorgi from Cuba. Nice, hello. <laughs> File with me using Flutter. I have nothing again, Flutter. I like to troll Flutter kind of uh, Flutter evangelists, I like to troll them, but I have nothing against Flutter for you. Uh, possibility to terminate my account scares me, what do you think? I don't know, you can get under the car tomorrow. Oh, whatever. I, I do not care too much about things which may not happen. What do you think about supply and demand for iOS developers in one year as forecast? I don't know. There are plenty of jobs. I don't see, I do not see any problems with that for now. And the problem as always is for newcomers in the industry. Uh, juniors in any industry has tough time to get jobs. Uh, across all the industries, there was over hiring in last few years and currently companies are kind of cutting a little bit that fat and cutting salaries because salaries was kind of super high but i don't know generally it's fine uh, i was should i buy the advantage 360 like an idiot <laughs> uh, i don't know which keyboard is that but uh, i wanted to buy kinesis keyboard but they didn't send it to latvia hard difficulty Privet. is that over dobry vecher do you also use mouse together with the split keyboard? Yes, I have. 
uh, mouse here. You can control mouse with the keyboard as well, but uh, I think that's a little bit overkill. Then you are just writing. Sure, I'm kind of moving around in the text with cursor, but uh, yeah, but otherwise, yeah. Kinesis advantage. That's a great keyboard. I didn't manage to buy it because they do not send it to Europe. So, and currently I have two split keyboards already. Probably I will not buy it. I will kind of mm, hope that maybe someday they will send it to me for review or something. <laughs> what do you do with thumb buttons? Oh. Thumb buttons, thumb buttons. Let me show you my layout. That will be in the video as well, but basically here you have... That is my layout. Nothing crazy. Enter, control, space, shift. Uh, basically you have all those keys here under the thumb. Switching layouts, when I'm switching to different layout, I have kind of array arrows here, num keys and so on. So, I don't know, stuff like that. But it is way more handy to do that with thumb than kind of reaching them on the big keyboard. It's way more comfortable. This keyboard looks like it could hack my bank account. <laughs> yeah. Getting Apple developer account is not easy at all. I'm lucky I got it. It was hard. Hard to say, yeah. I got my many, many years ago, back in 2000. I am just guessing now. 12, at least, maybe earlier. Oh, I developed applications for iOS 4. So, I don't know, do your math. Sveiks Vadim, hello. What kind of bottle with strap is in your desk? I have a few of them. This is, I don't know, something clean. Pfft, I have no idea. Something, I don't know. This one was basically gifted to me by wife. This one I bought probably somewhere. I don't remember where. And this was sent by Insta. Insta 360, that's just a water bottle. Basically, I, <laughs> as I'm sitting a little bit away, uh, 20 steps away from water tap, I have multiple <laughs> water bottles just to, because otherwise I'm kind of sitting, I, I feel that I'm thirsty, but I'm not going to pick water because I'm kind of in the middle of something. Hey Adrian, three weeks of shit chatting with Apple support. Oh my gosh. Some wait for six months to get account. Pff, sounds like crazy. So I get my I got my account for a while ago, but then I switched from private from personal account to company account. Basically, that's also kind of you have to get a US registration number, yada yada. But it took also maybe three weeks, two weeks. I will say two weeks, something like that. If you want to learn Spanish, here you have native for practice. I use that too. Nice, Yogi. <laughs> I started learning Spanish in Duolingo a little bit, but then I was kind of annoyed by Duolingo kind of pushing me to the Mm, pro version. Yeah, two weeks kind of sounds good. How much money do you get per year? Uh, from YouTube, few thousand. However, iOS indie developer need a backend. Sometimes. What kind of technologies are used? I'm using iCloud if I, I'm trying to avoid backend, backend because for freelance projects, there is backend team which uh, are dealing with backend. For my own projects, I'm trying to avoid it as much as possible just to do not support it, you know, 
if you make something, you have to support it. And uh, then I am kind of using a, a iCloud. Hmm, strange, yeah. Oh, Pauls. Hello. Hello, hello. Nice to see you, Stefan. Okay. Dennis, thanks for sub. Welcome. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Come on, what's going on? Where's my switcher? Okay, here we are. So I wanted to open what? Revenue cat, yeah. Revenue cat. Let's take a look on documentation. Docs, 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 quick start guide. Yeah, I don't know. I am in European Union. I didn't see much problems with that. Again, I kind of uh, got my account for a while ago, but that updating, switching to the company account from personal account was smooth. No problems at all. So let's start. Let's add package dependencies. Let's add where we adding here we adding. Let's add a revenue cut. Purchase is IO. Next to major version. Yes, let's add it. I don't know, Vadim. For me, it was like you are saying. You just register, pay the money, and that's done. But if you know that you would like to start do something in September, I think that's kind of uh, wise to create the account in out in uh, in the August. But also. <laughs> Question is, why do you need an account to release application in the App Store? So probably you will, if you're planning to start something in September, it will take for you at least, I don't know, maybe months to build this application and to prepare for release. Do you think AI will program better than humans in a few years? So a lot of people will lose their jobs. Um, I don't know. I'm getting this question often. Let me say so. Uh, you can, if you if you want to do, not worry about future. Just become uh, electrician or carpenter or plumber. There is still high demand for that labor. You have to wait to get access to those uh, experts for that uh, service and you are paying high uh, a lot of money to electrician whatever to hire someone to do something for you and there is no chance that those jobs will be replaced by AI right oh yeah Luca is from Poland Poland is definitely European Union and so no problem is that right I got first 30 bucks from Upstore. There is some threshold for um, different. It was previously it was different for different countries. There was something for some countries. It was 50 bucks for others. 150. I don't know what this threshold is now. Uh, maybe the same, maybe different. But basically, you have to reach some specific amount, and then uh, when you will reach that, then Apple will pay it out automatically. But you will get basically. I will get. In the May, in the May, I will get kind of money for sales in the 
uh, April is March. So it's somehow basically two months back, something like that. Got my Apple developers program five days ago and tried to release an app, but it was rejected. Oh, interesting. Hmm. What's holding me back is a lot of my building process in the privacy laws in European Union. So strict. How do you handle that in your apps? I do not <laughs> I do not have any customer's data. That's it. Programming jobs. Uh, so, if we are looking back to the history, how programming was looking in early days. There were perfo cards, then we started to write in assembly, then we started to write in C and C++, then we started to write in uh, Java, Swift, JavaScript, and so on. And maybe just maybe someday we will start writing in English for uh, for AI, you know, that's it. How to understand if MacBook is fit for current iOS development? Uh, depends on your project. If you are building kind of basic, uh, relatively similar uh, iOS projects, then I don't know any Nowadays, Mac will will be good enough. It's, I don't know. It's hard to say. Depends what kind of project you have and what you mean by by Mac. If you looking on any Intel Mac, forgot about it. If you are looking in on M1 MacBooks, if you can kind of get M2, M3. Let's let me say so. M3 MacBook Air will be great for almost anything. For local storage, what do you use? Uh, Swift uh, core data, currently moving to Swift data. Yeah, I don't have Swift data for any production project yet, but planning to use. 16 gigabyte of RAMs minimum. Yeah, I will say, I will say so, uh, get the best M series processors that you can. I mean, M1, M2, M3. You don't need M3 Max if you do not edit videos or run some uh, machine learning models on your local machine. Definitely don't need that. Uh, if you can get M3 MacBook Air, that's plenty. If you can get M3 Pro MacBook, that's even better, but you are kind of paying more for better screen, better um, extension ports and so on. So M3 is enough. And then you need at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, 24 upgrade, not bad, but you will lose money on kind of reselling it not necessary as well you will be fine on 16 gigabytes of ram and i would recommend to get one terabyte of ssd 512 is enough 215 in my opinion is not enough one terabyte of ssd is comfortable haven't seen you like live science i think three months oh i was streaming last week okay i'm not streaming very often nowadays but i I do. Are you starting you up? Uh, I'm building boiler pro plate project. Intel MacBook is not supported. Intel MacBook is deadly slow and uh, you have to look carefully which model you are getting. Is it still supports upgrade to latest iOS, uh, MacOS and does it support latest uh, Xcode versions? Yeah, M1 is still good. Exactly. Oh, Martin Slavakar, hello. Any new YouTube video in the works? Uh, yes, about this keyboard. 
What batteries? Uh, battery managing is this managed by Al Dente app. Actually, Mac was doing that for you, but uh, you can go a little bit more aggressive by using. Where it is? Oh, it is on that screen. Yeah, that's probably with multi screen thing. Here it is. Al Dente. Basically, I'm kind of limiting in. To 80 percent and that's kind of it you can go kind of in details and do whatever you like but i basically do nothing just holding it on 80 percent of charge and yeah that's about it do you enjoy keyboard yes surprisingly i'm still using it <laughs> MacBook Pro 2017 with Intel 16 gigs Ventura OS and Xcode even slow for beginning is not uh, yeah you can use it for kind of uh, start if you have it yeah sure use it until you are blocked but uh, I will not buy it today but yeah if you already have it sure Okay, back to the revenue cut. So what we should do nowadays for revenue cut SDK. I assume we can just show those paywalls, but probably we need that purchase handler to kind of see if user is kind of premium user, if you want to kind of do something. Configuration, okay, here we are. Yeah, sure, we will need up EK. Mm -hmm. Delegate, yeah, we will need this. Okay, whatever, let's add this kind of config. Import purchases and this init thing. Let's do copy pasta. So it's going here. We will need to import started with your motorcycle license <laughs> Vadim did you did you did you took a look on the weather forecast <laughs> it's rain 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 <laughs> but uh, actually yes I'm calling to my instructor on Monday we are kind of we will kind of agree when I'm going to motorcycle riding and so on and then I have exam at, uh, basically just to refresh my skills. And then I have exam date already set. It is 20 August, no August, uh, April, I guess 23. Basically week after next week on probably Tuesday, something like that. We'll see how this will go. We had here whole week 17. We had 24 degrees, uh, I don't know, two days ago, three days ago, something like that, and then it went back to cold again. Come on, how how it is not so much model like purchases? I just... Here we have revenue cut, package dependency. Import purchases, exactly. Import purchases. Uh, what's going on? Let's open my free diving application. 
how I am, how I am. Ah, here we have revenue cut. Oh, maybe they didn't update documentation, really? Is that possible? Really? <coughs> oh, so, okay, here we need app user ID. App user ID actually, I think is not needed, but we definitely need app EK. So I see no Apple Vision Pro. <laughs> Vive did not win. Uh, no. Uh, no, I'm getting that motorcycle license anyways, you know. The next level of this quest will be to get motorcycle. <laughs> Do you think Apple will release AirPods Max this autumn summer? Yeah, I don't know. I, I think yes, because they are very outdated. They still use lighting instead of USB-C and uh, they are very old already. I think yes, but I don't have any... I don't know, reason to kind of, I don't know, I don't, I, I didn't hear any rumors or something, that is just my kind of opinion that, yeah, probably. Uh, Revenue Cat UI is needed uh, later when you, when you want to show those paywalls. In initialization step, you don't need it. I think we're getting that error because uh, because this kind of thing. There should be just string. Or APK. Mm -hmm. Init, init. Uh, yeah, probably we don't need init here. That's true. Because... Something like that. Good luck with the exams. Thank you. Fingers crossed. <laughs> it's not hard. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Hold the other leg. And starting from body hole, body lose. Okay, we'll try to remember. That. But, uh, all the other legs, the guys, the full, yeah. Google Play made new rules November and so much worse. Yeah, you need basically 20 testers. Uh, Google Play just canceled my developer's account because, yeah, I had it, but uh, I didn't publish applications and, uh, yeah, they canceled my app. Bye bye, Alexandru. Uh, not actually not up, but just account. Yeah, they cancelled my account. Oops. Oops. I mean, doo -doo -doo. yeah, like that. Okay, we will need. We will need constants. Uh, let's just add here in mine, kind of. Folder, file new, to, to, to file. Probably I will name it just constants for now. Constants. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's 20 tester thing is crazy. I don't know how 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 to handle that for indie developer. Oh, interesting, no such model like revenue cut, really? You just told me that you don't have a model like purchases. No, you are saying, okay, can we just build and run it? Let's see if that will work. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's very interesting. Build failed. Interesting. Where are my errors? So. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? What's, what's going on? <laughs> I have revenue cat project imported here. What's going on? Package. It should be revenue cat. Okay. You know what? Let's uh, product clean. Maybe we need a key here. Still bad. Still file it. Why? Hmm. Okay, that's deprecated into the revenue cat package. It's fine. Not my fault. <laughs> Any CEO advises my app is still around 20 downloads per day. So. Twenty dollars. That doesn't mean that your SEO is bad. You know, it's kind of hard to say. But um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I recorded that SEO video not so long ago. This one. I don't know. It's kind of. It's basically on the topic. It is about one specific kind of ASO mobile kind of SEO tool, but basically there is kind of general SEO advice in that video. And you know, in kind of, you can't say not much in, I don't know, few sentences about SEO abstract optimization. And there is some kind of service, but I'm not sure that won't get me banned. Maybe 20 cheap Android phones is the way. Yeah, I, I, I didn't even, I didn't even bother to dig in into those requirements. But I was thinking maybe you can get uh, some community around the application if you have existing application in the App Store, or some kind of peers, you know, kind of get together another 20. Uh, Android developers and kind of be tester for each other, you know, kind of stuff like that. That's also. What do you think about buying keyword installs? I am not risking my to get banned on the App Store for stuff like that. Uh, I got offer not so few days ago uh, for keyword installs. Basically, they are asking. I don't remember. Two cents or twenty cents for install. Let me check. Let me check. Did I delete the email? Oh no, here it is. Yeah, it's twenty cents per installation. Zero point two dollars. Oh my gosh! I opened it. Email. 73 emails. I blame you. I didn't know I have an answer to the emails because I do not open it. <laughs> so here is the here is the email. Uh, basically, that's for us or com. I'm I'm not going to buy that, but basically. They are kind of, uh, I'm kind of judging from support, English and Russian, so s probably Russian speaking kind of guys kind of doing that. Maybe from Russia, maybe from Ukraine, I don't know what else not. But um, Belarus, but uh, that's kind of shady, you know. And uh, paying 20 cents per for installation it's actually it's not cheap as well i don't know how many downloads how many installations do you need you know to get on some keyword i i don't know 
you know this service. Okay. So yeah, it seems like a lot of top ups using this. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I. I don't do. I, I do not do that. If I will do, I will say you. It's. I don't know. It's kind of. I'm kind of. Uh, I do not think it is uh, something like mm, bad thing to do. It's kind of grayish probably a little bit because I don't know. But you are not hurting anyone. It's not kind of some kind of black CEO or something. It's kind of you are just buying for fake installs and that's it. But uh, yeah, I don't. I'm not doing that. What is the thing you use to generate code? That's a uh, GitHub Copilot. I still remember from my teacher that until 20 kilometers you control your motorcycle after <laughs> it controls you. Yeah. Counter steering won't work as needed. Just a tip to remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes perfect sense. For me, I just uh, filed an uh, exam on that um, extreme kind of braking. Actually, on the first try, instructor filed me. I was looking back in the camera that my speed was correct and braking was kind of correct and I stopped in the right place and he said it was too slow. I tried to do that faster and uh, yeah, failed the text test. So yeah, this time I'm starting on spring, so I have all the summer to get my license, so <laughs> I do not worry. But I was, you know, it was cold, I was nervous because it was kind of last days of the autumn, it was already cold and so on, so yeah. I ride at 38 kilometers. No, I ride at... Instructor said that I ride on that. Uh, basically, you have to go 50 kilometers per hour before s there is that line when you can allow to brake. An instructor said I was going 48 kilometers per hour, but actually <laughs> it wasn't. I I saw in my camera when when I got home and I was looking in the record. It wasn't 48. It was 48 already after the line where you are allowed to brake. So. It was kind of correct speed. It was something like 53, 56 before the braking uh, line on speedometer. Yeah, of course, speedometer is kind of eh, electronic, not not exactly the best tool to see the exact speed, but whatever. That's what I see. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Can you please start the course on complete iOS development on YouTube? There are plenty of courses about iOS development. Last to my question, how much do, do you have of your top up? Uh, enough. Google makes problems to yourself. Yeah. Agree. It's kind of tricky currently with that Google. I don't know why they are doing that. They are kind of seems that they're kind of pushing indie developers out of the market. Do you need the website to show your boilerplate? <laughs> yeah, thank you very much, but I probably will just host it uh, on GitHub and that's it. I, I, I'm not planning to do any website. I'm not planning to sell it. And with, <laughs> sp sp with speed like we are building it now, I will finish that boilerplate in in a month, maybe. <laughs> but that's fine. I'm here just to chill out a little bit today after work and uh, have a chat with you guys. So build file it, but where is my error? What happened? Okay, let's just try, you know what? Let's clean the code, clean build folder. You know, let's do all the traditional stuff. Kill Xcode. Delete derivative data. Where is my derivative data folder? Here we go. And let's try to reopen Xcode and we'll see if that will fix itself. So 
sometimes that helps. <clears throat> yeah, but thank you, Cornell. Uh, appreciate that. I just do not plan to uh, do any web page for this boilerplate. What is most advantages of Swift UI and UI Kit? Uh, Swift UI is faster to prototype, I would say, and build user interface. If you are kind of building some relatively simple user interface, as soon as you are going very, very custom, very tricky kind of user interface, you may kind of run into the blockers and maybe you will need why it is purchases? Purchases definitely should be something. Okay, you know what? Maybe, just maybe, I somehow following some old tutorial and fetching kind of old revenue cut package. I don't know. I will remove the package. We'll add it again. I will look for revenue cut. Because they did some migration from older. Yeah, I still see the same. Receive partial revenue cut, revenue cut user interface. Yes. Yeah, that's what we need. Hm. Yeah, and UI kit basically. What is this UI kit? UI kit is battle tested, you know. It's. Uh, it is around forever and you can build basically almost anything. There are a few limitations already. Uh, basically, uh, if you are looking into MapKit, SwiftUI started to support MapKit, but I think that annotations is not supported yet and you can get everything and anything in the UI kit, you know, everything everything works but some new things may not be available in using ui kit so for example widgets for widgets you need swift ui there is no way to build widgets using ui kit so there are pros and cons on both you know so some older <laughs> functionality always will be available but you may have problems to use it from swift ui and vice versa so you can miss some new features in UIKit. So my suggestion is to go with the um, Swift UI, building your mine application. If you are starting application today, you should use Swift UI building it. And then if you will need, you can fall back to UIKit from Swift UI always. I don't know. That's kind of not exactly answered that you asked uh, to questions that you asked. I will play Diablo 3 same time as watching the live. Nice. That's the best. Thank you, Cornell. I appreciate that. So. Okay, no error now. But build still failed. Okay, can we? Okay, let's uh, comment that out. Can I just import revenue cut? Will that work? Build file it. Why? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Here we are. Professional iOS developer. <laughs> Making money. <laughs> Building iOS up. Can't import the revenue cat library. Why is that build failing? What's going on here? Okay, let's try another simulator. Maybe... I don't see why. That's so weird. Build settings. We should have some of latest and greatest. iOS development 17.4. Maybe I have some problems with simulator. Unlikely. It should build at least. If not launch on simulator, then at least build. Hey, Ancha, hello, Swix. So 
anything else you plan to add besides revenue cut? Uh, yes, uh, some kind of uh, my own tab bar, for example, my own buttons with shadows, banners for mm, inner purchases, stuff like that, you know. <laughs> After getting work, it's so good feeling, <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's some somehow. Yeah. And then imagine if you need to go to the <laughs> kind of uh, coding interview and basically <laughs> you are asked to build something in public, you know? Oh my gosh. Is it in the target? Do you mean revenue cat? should be i don't know how it can not be in the target if you kind of added it to the project package dependencies here it is so i don't know who is drunk i or x god okay Let's see how I do that in my snorkeling application. Yeah, I'm implement. I'm adding a revenue cat library, and I have two, two, two packages. Not so many. Purchase iOS. That's weird. Try to clean the build folder and reopen Xcode. I did that. <laughs> I did that already. It could be funny, of course, if, if it is not dumb. And also, we don't have any kind of uh, good error message. What the hell is going on here? Enough subscriptions made easy. False statement, right? Right here. It's not easy. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, dog woke, wake, wake, waking up all the family. Lucas, what's your dream? Not sure. Not not sure. What's your dream? Good to read. Check out, he's look like the co looking like a cosmonaut. <laughs> Scared all the family to death. Don't talk too much. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Show us the flutter. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, turn it off and on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's look. Yeah, it from that's because we were in on vacation in the summer in Italy in Sicily, and when we went back, we went straight from the plane to the dog bre how you name it dog brewery whatever and now brewery is for beers <laughs> basically we went and took our dog from uh, i don't know how you name those places breeding ah, whatever yeah and then that's why that's why we came up with this look name yeah fluffer not flutter <laughs> Oh my gosh, what's going on? Is it really so late already that this project will never build? Uh, okay, I can last effort, I can build it, run it on the device. Maybe it's that somehow will fix it. Sometimes it's simulator. Build failed. Okay, can we get error at least? Not such model like revenue cut. Q 
here we have it, right? Add to project seed, yes. It is kind of added already. Let's add it one more time. And packages, fetch it. Here it is. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Okay. You know the drill. Clean build folder. Actually, we have nothing in that project yet. We can just nuke that project completely. You know, let's do that. Because I already did all this project cleaning once. It's, it's kind of, it's, it's, I don't know, it's dumb. Derived data, gone. Uh, developer, seed, where it is, seed. Done. We don't have this project anymore. Let's start from scratch. Completely. What music is that in the background? Th that is uh, Epidemic Sounds. If you will scroll in the description, you will find the link to the Epidemic Sounds. Okay, let's create new project. Again, let's go for IOSAP. Next, let's name it Seed. Uh, okay, we don't need this Swift data for now. We will add it later. Swift, Swift UI, next. Great. Let's try to build it without, without packages. Oh, let's build it on the... I wanted to build it on simulator. Okay, let's... Do, 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 do iPhone 15 Pro, let's say this one. Why we already have error message? What the f what the not nice Xcode project? No oh, build succeeded. Fine. As you said about the interview, this is the thing that I'm afraid. I know that is not needed to know everything and basically you can make app using Google Entry GPT. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel you, Adam. I didn't do interviews for a while already. Uh, also, if I should go to the interview tomorrow, I will be nervous as hell as well. And I definitely will fail something stupid simple. Subscription store view. Oh, interesting. How do you validate uh, receipts, Andre? Found it. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that's a uh, that's epidemic sound service. It's kind of uh, cool because you can use that music in basically all your videos, whatever Instagram. YouTube videos, streams, everything. What's the name of this tool on the side of simulator? That is a uh, rocket, 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 what? Rocket sim? Uh, how you name it? I think it was rocket sim. Where are settings? General, where is the name? about yeah rocket sim exactly it is by swiftly he's creating content about swift and everything yeah nice tool i will say do you need it i don't know i see kind of uh it useful so i'm paying for that
Yeah, Andri, how do you use Revenue Cat is cool, yeah. And you have to pay some money to Revenue Cat. It's not too much, to be frank. But uh, receive validation. It validates it automatically. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Do you ever make apps for Android as well? Uh, if you are asking like that, yes, I developed a few Android applications. Do I do that now? No, I don't. Is iPhone needed for iOS development? Not necessary for start. You can do plenty with simulator. You can do a lot with simulator, but eventually you will need iPhone, yeah. It's highly recommended, let's say, to have iPhone just test how your application is running and so on. You can build and release application without having iPhone, technically. Okay, let's try one more time. I don't know. If <laughs> I will not manage to add this revenue cat library one more time, I'm going to sleep right now. Okay, I'm not going to sleep, I will, I don't know. Play a video game or something. Purchases iOS, okay, let's add packages. Uh, I will say there is one reason to still stick with uh, Revenue Cat. Those are experiments. You can experiment with paywalls and all that stuff. That's kind of nice feature to have. And you don't know what price is right for your product, which paywall is the best if you do not do A-B tests and experiments. I will say that's kind of... I will highly recommend to do that. When you kind of know what works and what not, then probably, yeah, that makes sense to kind of drop the revenue cat and move to the native mm, App Store SDK, especially if you are earning a shitload of money and that 1% from money is still kind of... Eh. But um, I will say... Let's open Revenue Cat pricing. So I think they had somewhere that slider somewhere. Pricing details. Okay, they don't have that slider anymore. I remember that there was some kind of slider when you can see how much you pay for specific amount of money. I have no problems to pay for the revenue cat bill. If I'm getting bigger revenue cat bill, it's kind of... It means that I made more money. So it's kind of... Eh, whatever. Which Mac do you advise for an iOS developer budget around 2000? Uh, I will go for uh, a new MacBook Air probably. Let's see. I don't. I'm do, I don't know current prices, but Mac, MacBook Air. So, buy M3 chip. Here we have from 1000, and I will add the RAM. Select. Here we can get 16 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte of storage. Oh, it's 1.7. I will I will buy this machine for 2000. Can you get? MacBook Pro for that money. Okay, where is this buy thing? Come on, give me buy button. 14 inch M3 Pro. Yeah, it is already 2K. 
18 gigabytes of RAM, 512. That's 512 is not cool, I will say. 18 gigs of RAM is fine. So this will have much better screen, better speakers, more ports, uh, but uh, I don't know if you need it. And a little bit faster processor, but not much. <laughs> 14 inches are depends how you use it I have 16 inch MacBook Pro uh, right here I'm reading the chat on 16 inch MacBook Pro I do not see problem traveling with 16 inch MacBook Pro because uh, usually when I'm traveling in the backpack it's going from my car to airport and from airport to another car and then to Airbnb and so on so I do not care too much about size in the backpack but if I'm working in some Airbnb, then this size of the screen matters, right? So I will say that I prefer 16 inch, but you have your kind of budget, uh, 2K, right? But uh, yeah, that depends on your kind of use case. I maybe will get 14 inch as the next MacBook because I maybe will ride around on motorcycle with their laptop in the backpack then it kind of makes difference you know so yeah i don't know that's very very subjective kind of question are 14 inches are good yeah it's good laptop it's great laptop do you need is does 16 inch macbook has more screen space yeah it has more screen space is it important for you i don't really know but um, yeah, with that, uh, if my budget would be on just 2000 tries, kind of specifically, I probably would buy this one. But if I could upgrade the uh, SSD, I would get that uh, one terabyte SSD. So it's already 2200. It's basically over your budget. But if you are on tough budget, I will get then this MacBook Air, you know. Then you have just one, one, 1.7, 1,700, and you will have a great machine, you know. I have M1, but it's getting become a little slow for Xcode. I don't know, I have M1 Pro, it's still kind of handle everything. I'm planning to wait until M4 Max will be released. Why Mac Air? Because uh, limited budget. I will not buy it for myself, but if I will have limited budget, it's a great machine. It'll be interesting to watch video about your dev tools, app service you use, what's on your Mac and so on. Yeah, I have that in my backlog. Will do someday. Got mode to, to M2, 24, one terabyte. Ref, refurbish it. Oh, nice. Nice deal. Do you have in mind what motorcycle and how many CC? Oh, yeah, Vadim, I have in mind there is, so, there are three options currently. If my wife will be super against buying, there is, I can rent motorcycle, basically. Dude bikes, just renting uh, this scrambler. And basically, you are paying 650 in a month and riding it. So that's fine. Basically, you're paying something like, let's say, around 2.5k for season for riding it. It's eh, kind of fire. If you will buy motorcycle and will sell it at the end of the season, you basically will lose about the same amount of money. You don't need to change oils, anything. Kind of not cheap, cheap, but kind of fire price. That's for renting. If I'm buying, there are two options, basically. Mm. Mm. 
this one is kind of nice. Triumph Scrambler. It is 400 cc. Kind of uh, easy to ride. Relatively small bike, but not small, small. It's kind of looks like big bike, but okay, you know it. Uh, you can get into some off-road and so on. And it's uh, relatively cheap as well. I will get this 21% off because I'm buying it as a company and so on. But one of my friends kind of trying to convince me that I have to buy this bike, Yamaha Tenere. I think that is kind of overkill for new rider. And uh, I'm not sure I'm kind of buying it because it is kind of tall and top heavy and so on. But yeah, with this bike I could ride for three, four, whatever years, you know. This bike definitely is one, maximum two years and then you will kind of outgrow it. Uh, those are my options. I don't know. We'll see. Thirty-two gigs are amazing. You should give it a try. I have sixty. It's fine. Not much, but it's fine. Will you prefer sixteen or fourteen? If you go for long time time traveling, definitely sixteen. Because that's basically will be your mind screen, and definitely yeah. Triumph is good, yeah. Triumph is good. I think that uh, I kind of, I'm kind of more into this bike because it's relatively cheap. If I will sell it with, I don't know, even kind of losing, maybe, I don't know, max 2K maybe, it's still kind of fine. Yeah, Moto Marini looks really nice as well. Oh, they are giving a MacBook Pro for nine months. Pfft, that's dope, actually. Is this coding stream? <laughs> it was. <laughs> it was. Where are, why, where are you from originally? I'm from Latvia. Love your accent. Thank you. Triumph looks kind of sexy. Yeah, it is. It, it, it is looking nice. Yeah, I like it as well. Okay, what's happened with that project? Okay, it's still building. Nice. Let's try to import now the revenue, the revenue cut. So, Xcode seed. Here we have revenue cut library can we still run it please no it's like motorcycle stream <laughs> yeah it is you can get mt07 for good price in germany as well after also getting one what is mt07 it's kind of interesting it's one of those yamahas but i'm not kind of uh Maybe that is Tenere ten because it is T7 something, but no. Ah, yeah, it is. It is this street Yamaha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's cool naked bike. It's kind of looks a uh, little bit too modern for me. I like. I kind of like this. Um, I like Triumph look because it's kind of a little bit kind of oldish, you know. Then there is looks like big dirt bike. It's kind of also okayish, but I kind of like thick specs of KTM's. But I don't like they they are just ugly. Sorry, <laughs> KTM drivers, riders. 
they're just ugly. This empty 07, kind of okay, -ish, but I like something kind of more, a little bit more classic. It's kind of very nice looking modern bike, but I would like to something more classic. Good beginner bike. Yeah, like that could be. Uh, I think the engine is the same like in Tenere, right? Have this Technica Informatsi. Uh, yeah, that's exactly that's exactly the same engine that uh, Tenere has, and it is a little bit lighter. How Triumph. ST ten fifty Triumph ST Triumph Regal already. <laughs> no Scrambler Triumph ST Ah Street Triple. Oh, missed one. <laughs> Dream Sprint. Oh yeah, it's just like sport bike. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're making those as well, yeah. I like an adventure bikes and classic bikes, so... But, I don't know. We'll see what I will say after starting riding riding regularly currently i'm just riding with uh, riding on uh, moto schools naked something kawasaki something it's a blue one i have I, I saw it in instagram or in twitter i saw it yeah it's cool looking yeah bmw also have good bikes yeah, yeah, I, I know. BMW has BMW prices, yeah. When you know only iOS development, Swift, can you create games for iPhone? Do you know any popularized game with Swift language? Technically, you can, but uh, you you don't want to build games using Swift and Sprite Kit and so on, so, 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 uh, and, and what else not. Because games usually are built using game engines. Yeah, BMW, yes, but very high price, exactly. What license nice boat? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't get this one yet. KTM 1090 Super. super. Oh, yeah, I dropped. Those are beefy big bikes, both of them, yeah. Those are too big, too serious for beginning driver like, like me. Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine for mobile games? Really? I think the question was about mobile games. So for mobile games, it's usually what they are using. Unity? I don't remember what, what else. Yeah, I definitely will get that license this year. Uh, I have kind of, let's say, almost no doubt about that. <laughs> but uh, because summer is kind of long and just starting, but uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see how much time that will take, you know. Okay, can we? Can we init it now? Do, do, do. Let's try. 
This is actually, we don't need this stuff here. So here we will have some key. Probably we'll see errors here. Okay, let's just, let's add empty strings here. Hey gents. <laughs> Split keyboard is the best. Yeah, that was a good one, right? <laughs> uh, I'm doing well, thank you. Hope you are good as well. Nice curve roads. Yeah. I think those coastal roads throws the small villages on the on the on the coast are kind of nice. But yeah. I, sh I should kind of explore those uh, motorcycle kind of riding roads as well. And somewhere around Piebalga, on Piebalga, there was kind of, yeah, and also, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's perfect, it's perfect place for grilled cheese, yeah. Okay, finally, at least that work, that works. How much time do I spend on that? I don't know, maybe an hour. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's, that's dumb. <laughs> Whatever. Maybe I should write down what I would like to implement. <laughs> Did you know that for both license, if you longer uh kind of yes because one of my co-workers made this license and but you need this license to ride uh, that water motorcycles so probably i should kind of get that as well someday and then one of my kind of good friends has moto boat it is quite powerful engine but less than 20 meters Basically, you can ride on this weight water, how you name it, slopes? Weight water, wooden slopes, ski, water skiing. Yeah, something like water skiing you can do on that boat. But it is small, but crazy fast. To go to the gym. You should kind of... Uh, I have my gym right here. Actually, you don't need much for gym. You need few dumbbells and uh, can you see that? Oh, you can't. Something like that. So, no, I'm not going to gym. If you want to change the weights per set. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's kind of annoying if you, if you need to change those weights per set. Sure. But uh, those uh, fast changing. What happened? What happened? But those fast changing... Uh, are kind of really kind of hard to get here in Latvia and also they're crazy expensive. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, we got a sub. Nice. Jens Oster. Thank you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. You are kind of getting me on streaming hook. I see what you are doing here, right? <laughs> now I will feel guilty if I will not come back to the stream. <laughs> yeah, okay. Agreed. I will try to do better. 
That's the bomb you are showing is from USSR. Exactly. That's very true. Channel points for buying the gym, 30 push-ups. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because of grilled cheese. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'm not going to do push-ups or kettlebell swings, at least tonight. We'll see. Okay, you know, let's write down, let's write down what I would like to see in this. Oh, actually, I know. I would like to move, I don't know how I, would, how, how I could look on that. I could open my uh, free diving application and see a few components that I would like to use. I already know a few of them. Let's do at least something quickly. Otherwise, I kind of spent maybe hour <laughs> to add revenue cut thing. I have kind of... Okay, onboarding view is kind of simple. There is kind of nothing to uh, reuse because it's very custom and uh, it's not reusable. Hey, hey, Lavakar, Katerina. Martin told me about ships. Now he wants to get ships driving license. <laughs> but it's nothing wrong to get the ships, ships driving license. It's also for water motorcycle, you know. <laughs> I'm looking where you can rent motor boat. I think it should be doable. It should be doable. Uh, Privet, hey Vitaly. Oh, thank you, yeah. Thank you very much. Come on, what's going on? Where is my preview? Still building? Oh, I'm not sharing screen. Right, right, right. I need one more screen to see what what do I do on stream. And also we already need to kill a few applications because I see that my poor machine is starting to become slow. Let's kill, let's be careful to do not kill OBS. <laughs> In my past, when I was young and beautiful, I used 40 kilogram dumbbells for chest. If for chest, 40 for chest, it's a lot, yeah. I push it, uh, in my max I push it, I think 100. I remember when I was going to the gym regularly and there was kind of that gym, that's, that's a small gym. And uh, the gym owner was working here as well, basically in the gym. And uh, and he, I remember, that spotted me on those kind of attempts to push 100. And to be frank, I don't remember if I succeeded with that 100 or not, but I was definitely was so close to 100. Maybe I pushed that 100, maybe not. I don't remember. My weight was, my own weight was something like 86, 87 then, back then and less fat than now. Currently I'm waiting about the same, <laughs> but less muscles, more fat, you know? 40 kilos in both, yeah, I understand, yeah. 40 kilos each hand, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, therefore I'm saying that's quite a lot because I I definitely push it uh, 80, that's the same, but uh, with dumbbells it's different. And uh, I don't remember if I managed to push 100. We have a house near Sia. Why not have a boat? <laughs> that you will live in that boat. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like you will go to sleep in that boat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like press record was 520. That sounds a lot. I don't remember anything else, but I didn't do any crazy numbers. 
I remember that pushing kind of 100 was kind of a big deal. Did I push it? Don't remember, frankly, but probably. So I think that we could reuse something like this long, long time ago. Yeah, for me, the same. My gym days are also <laughs> same. Also in my kind of mm, mid-twenties, maybe. And then, you know, kids, I was going to the gym regularly for about maybe two years, something like that. And yeah, then I was able to kind of push and uh, pull and, and quite, quite, quite kind of, uh, quite a lot. But then, you know, how it is, kids and all that stuff. We can both do it, both. <laughs> It's the choice of multi-platform that got React Native working, Xcode, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. I, I, I can imagine those uh, cross-platform benefits. Army was made with this. I was kind of lazy in the army. I didn't do anything. I, I, I started, to, I, we had a gym in the army and I went to the gym a few times, maybe. But there were one guy who get really big and uh, bulked during the army. Basically, was looking like I don't know, Schwarzenegger, huge. I really like what you do, and you are one of the reasons I like coding. Nice, yeah. Keep keep going, yeah. It was very strict in there. Oh, for me, army was quite loose. I was in on the border with Russia for one and a half year, and basically we did nothing. We just went to the border for uh, 24 hours, then back to the how you name Kazarms uh, barracks for the next 24 hours, and basically just moving like that. <laughs> And then when you are back, basically you are sleeping half of the day. So it was relatively mm, kind of easy. It wasn't necessary to do a lot of uh, exercising. Yeah, I believe you. It was uh, for me the first months there was super crazy kind of uh, trainings and everything mm, be, because where I was in the training camp. The training camp was kind of very, very kind of top rated back in the days. And that was training camp. Those instructors were trained by instructors from US and everything. So it was kind of all the time running, kind of exercising, everything. But when you are kind of going from this training camp, it was just one month. And when you are getting to the army kind of uh, already into the border and everything and it was just kind of chill running those 10 to 30 kilometers time to time it was kind of easy peasy after that <laughs> training camp and yeah tank commander here oh, nice martin <laughs> 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 oh, I have Martin's commander here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Leave it in the woods for 10 days. Yeah, it sounds like you had a pun, yeah. Leaving in the woods was one of the training. Yeah. I, I will say the training in Latvian army wasn't so hard as I heard from you. After three months of basic training, I ended up coding in the army logistics system to keep track of salvage. Oh, interesting. I <laughs> did do not any exercises. <laughs> cool. So you got programming job in army. It's not bad. <laughs> it's 
fun. I was uh, next to computers in army as well. Basically, on bo on border, we had that kind of computer system to register cars which are going in and out in the country, and some stolen car registers and what else not, and document registers. Basically, data operator, nothing fancy. <laughs> Nowadays are really easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that uh, months in the training camp was kind of crazy. And I can imagine, for example, if you are kind of going like that for most of the army, that could be... Pfft. That could be hard. Okay, here I have some... Oh, that's UI kit views. Drop shadow view, outline button. Okay. I should have something like... Round and corner view, button with shadow. Okay, this is already Swift UI. For example, this could be reused component, right? Button with shadow. Basically, I'm using it in the application everywhere. Quite a lot of places. So we need to recreate it and make it a little bit kind of more. Probably we need to have color as variable as well. Yeah. It's not kind of something important, but something that I could do just to have some <laughs> feeling of progress on this project. <laughs> okay, let's add the new Swift UI view. That will be... Sh -sh 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 Something like that. And let's do just some copy pasta here. I will just copy this one and that will be kind of easy to handle it and support it in between projects and sync changes. We don't have this brand primary color. I'm not sure if we need some default colors in the project. Maybe. Maybe yes, maybe no. We'll see. I will think about it later. Oh, not text, var color. <coughs> and then we will use this color here. Basically for but button color, and that's it. I guess I'm kind of setting it here, yeah. Text close and color is something. Okay, let's add it here as well for preview. Let's say text will be, I don't know, the same. Close. And for color, let's go with something like uh, blue, maybe. Ah, let's go with red. For close, that's kind of... What's happened with our music? Oh, I can't type anymore. Close, I mean close, like close. Do -do -do. I was drafted during university. Hmm. So I didn't really want to go. Ended up in a unit where we didn't get any bayonets. Too many people with too many people with criminal record. Oh my gosh. 
Also out of 19, we were only two who had a high school diploma or a bow. Had to fight hard not to be commanded to go to leadership training. That would have added... That would add 12 months to your draft. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Too many people with criminal record. Interesting. I think in Latvian army you are kind of not going... You are not going to the army if you have criminal like record. At least it was so back in my days when I was kind of serving in the army. I don't know how it is happening now. If you don't go to army, you know, run away, then co government will send you to jail. Is it the same in Latvia? I don't know, to be frank. Because we... What's going on here? File it to build. Why you file it to build? Uh, I don't know, frankly. Vadim is from Estonia. Uh, it's, uh, I don't think you kind of go to the jail. That should be something like adm administrative kind of uh, thing. If you get in the army and you are kind of giving that kind of, uh, if you are already soldier and then you kind of running away, then you desert there and then probably you are going to the jail. If you are just kind of, I don't know, not going to serve in the army. Hmm. I don't know. This one in 90 is about one third was drafted. I was in 90s in army as well. I was in army... I don't remember, 96 probably was when I went back from the army, something like that. Do you have any connections with India? Hmm. -mm. None. None. I don't have any. Two thousand four. Yeah, it's very much later. I was in ninety something like ninety six. I don't remember if I went to the army in ninety six, and I was kind of probably. Oh, we can do the math, right? I'm born in 2075 plus 90, 1994. So I was went to the army in 1994. So yeah, probably I went back from the army in 1996. So 90s. Two thousand fourteen or two thousand thirteen in the army. So that's recently. It it feels two thousand thirteen for me. It feels like yesterday. It is ten years ago. The good thing is that our army barracks were placed at the same place where the police dogs were trained. Every Friday we had a visit from the canine units that were specialized in finding drugs. <laughs> oh my gosh. After those visits, there was already always volunteers to take the weekend guard service. So during nine months, I only had one weekend to <laughs> had to stay. <laughs> oh my gosh, this was 1997. I was coming back to home in 1997 already from army. <laughs> uh, sounds fun, yeah. It was, it was interesting in the army in the 90s. Oh, we again don't have such model like revenue cut. What the hell is going on? The Xcode project is drunk. I don't know anymore how to build iOS applications. What's going on? It's just crazy. How's going your up revenue in terms of revenue? Uh, it's doing great, about the same, growing slowly. Every year the army 
or goes easier and easier. Yeah, I think it is so. I think now army is kind of... I think it's kind of interesting, probably, even though it's... Yeah, sure, you still probably will get uh, all the running and exercising and all that stuff, but there is no anymore that... Uh, how you name it? Jed of China, if you know what, you're, what I'm talking about. Build file it. I'm just... I'm just killing that projects and going to sleep for real. It's just uh, we added nothing. And I apply for the army school. Oh, interesting. Wait, wait, wait. Did you finish that army school as well? Did you stay in the army after that uh, mandatory army? Probably Scott is too tired already, you know, all day long already. It's kind of... Pfft. It's just silly. So, wait a minute. Content view is just fine. Button with shadow view. Okay, let's close that. This should be fine as well. I don't see anything wrong here. What the hell? Okay, let's comment out preview just, I don't know, in case. Will it build now? No, nah, still. Again, we have this kind of problem with revenue cut. I'm, I'm just... It's it. It's, it's enough is enough, you know? Enough is enough. It was building just fine a few minutes ago. Done. No. <laughs> I'm done for today. It's just a dump. Okay. Do we have something to talk about? What do you hate and what are you tired of in iOS development? I don't know. What do I hate? If you have a situation like this, for example, basically you are adding library, it kind of should work, you did everything right, then it even builds, so it kind of confirms that you did everything right. Then you're adding something else, changing something, and then Xcode just failing with some super dumb and unrealistic kind of error. So currently it's showing that this library is not found. Even we know that, we, that that library was added, it was running just fine, everything was fine, and then it's just starting to, starting to say that, no, I don't know, never saw that library. First time hearing about that. So that's kind of, eh. I, I will not say I hate it. Hate is kind, hate is kind of a very strong word, you know. It's annoying, I would say. Uh, sometimes, what else don't I like? Uh, sometimes I don't like to work in a team with other people if they kind of are also kind of somehow annoying, but that's just me being grumpy. And, uh, but that's, that's not I, that's, that can be in any job, you know. Um, probably that's it. Yeah, I don't know what else. No, kind of nothing comes in mind. Spe I specifically, I would say, kind of dumb Xcode errors, probably. I don't like people as well. Yeah, exactly, Martin. That's just in our genes, you know, like uh, Lat Latvia against, you know, probably. Uh, I'm part of Discord group created by Pietro Messino. Glyph, Loam, where? Uh, yeah, you know, there are so many Discord groups, I can't be in any, every of them. Before the school, you need to pass special course, and from 50 people, only 10 was chosen. I was in this 10. 
Mm. Good stuff. But then there was medical exam and I filed it because of my knee issue from my childhood. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's a good one. <laughs> Don't you hate it? Don't you hate it when you go into public and the public is there? <laughs> oh my gosh. Sometimes, yeah, you know. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, when you go to the public place and public place is crowded <laughs> and then you kind of feel annoyed because why all those all those people are here, you know, and of that type of annoying uh, annoyment. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't say I succeeded much with my project today, but eh. let's hope that Xcode was just kind of feeling bad to work in public environment and maybe I will kind of move quicker and will be more successful with my project on, on weekend. Yeah, even we go, yeah, we are going on weekend to visit some friends, so probably I will not have much time for that, but whatever, yeah. When you will start with the new app, uh, with the new app, uh, it's hard to say, I, I don't have any deadline for that, I kind of wanted to start to build new applications, and I was thinking, ah, you know, that app idea is dumb, and then I was thinking, but whatever, I could build it for myself anyways, and just as a content as well for YouTube video. And then I was, get, and then I got busy with other things and so on and so on, so pff, I don't know. Xcode is Latvian too, probably, yeah. Do you have any in your backlog? I have a few happy days in backlog. I'm not saying those are kind of great or uh, potentially very profitable, but uh, I have a few up ideas in the backlog that I would like to build. Also, I would like to get into that motorcycle riding and see if I if I if I have any kind of idea about up what I would like to have like a motorcycle rider. That's kind of something in my mind as well but uh yeah we'll see how that will go i don't know maybe maybe i don't know i don't need anything because i think when you are kind of riding motorcycle mostly you need some kind of navigation application something like that and there should be plenty of them already and that's quite a huge project Maybe some kind of uh, maintenance kind of tracking application for your tier, tire, tires, how you name it? Tires, tears, whatever. Mm, and motor oil, stuff like that. I think there should be plenty of apps like that already, but maybe I will build, we'll see, whatever. When another video where you share downloads and rare other insights for you, those videos are so inspiring. It's kind of, uh, I don't know, I'm making those videos, yeah, exactly for that reason, to inspire everyone, but kind of making those videos every month or every second month kind of doesn't make much sense, you know. I don't know, maybe I should, but I don't know. I'm carrying game up in my head for years now. Yeah, if you have it in the mind for years and you still have it, you know. Yeah, sure. Why, 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 why you are waiting? I'm cycling with a bike and have to ride many of them. And there is no app that will be what I want. So, build one. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm thinking about that as well. Basically, when I will get into the riding, I would like to have 
so my kind of rider experience then take a look what apps are in the market what i would like to use i just name it two use cases maybe there are more because you just uh it's kind of hard to understand some auditories needs if you are not in that niche in that auditory if you are doing if i don't know if you are surfer or if you are free diver or if you are motorcycle rider or i don't know if you are young parent you know what kind of application you would like to know how but if you are just kind of looking onto that market from the side you can just kind of guess and don't really know what exactly is needed sure you can talk with people and so on but it's not it's not easy it's very easier if you are the uh, target audience or customer for your application <laughs> oh, yeah that could be good app yeah rent about it there's no app where bikers can meet and see from the app where someone is located yeah that could be nice yeah i think there should be some applications for some kind of re riding together and something like that it could be nice yeah some some kind of social socialization and so on yeah that's that's also kind of use, nice yeah <laughs> martins is getting into the problems yeah there is an idea about finding the next e-charger uh, all the apps are out here are kind of shit yeah there are uh, my guy who is living kind of close to me and he's developed he's developer as well he actually riding uh, electric car and he built application where you can see chargers and stuff but it works in latvia probably only and i don't know the name of this application hydrate yeah he already out of the water in this little bit i know those are few drops and that doesn't count but we have two backup water bottles Cheers. <laughs> hey Tommy. Are we flattered yet? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Long time no see. Yeah, we are at the end of the stream already, sorry. But yeah, I, I streamed last week. Um, but not daily, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's right, Api, for your country. That's even more kind of challenging. Those are um, those uh, chargers are not in some one network with all the kind of uh, with one API to fetch the data. Basically, you have to try to fetch data for each of the charging networks. There are multiple of them, more than one. They are not willing to share data. They are not open to share data. They also building their own applications and kind of want to keep customers using their application. So it's kind of shitty market. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to watch Leverkusen beat up West Ham. Oh, that went over my head. Sorry. Where's the daily stream went? Yeah, sorry, Yanch. It's kind of. I think those, those daily streams kind of was interesting, but kind of not great. Once not great for focus, and second, I didn't. I wasn't able to share any code, anything. Kind of. Eh, I don't know. I was. Uh, I didn't feel it. Kind of very. Kind of great way of streaming yeah <laughs> if we got a boat you can be martin's captain 
Maybe we need to make the app as a team for motorcycle. I'm sure there's some others who wants to join. Yeah, yeah, sure. I would like to get into that motorcycle riding first, understand what exactly are needs for that niche, you know. The issue is that the daily stream was around rows, a flutter up and that broke. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we will see you do more collab videos with Alex Zinskind. Uh, he's very nice. He invited me twice in his videos. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. We are not working on anything together. He's just a very cool guy and we are kind of having some conversations time to time on Twitter and sometimes in DMs, but um, nothing, nothing planned. And, but he is kind of... He's going crazy all in into the YouTube. He's just, uh, I remember when I kind of started to follow him, he was on something like 50K. I was maybe on 20. And currently I am on some somewhere on around 30K and he is on, I don't know, 200 more, maybe close to 300. It's kind of, it's going like crazy. And yeah, he's really nice. Basically, he's in uh, behind the camera. I, I was kind of few times with him on calls just to prepare for those videos and have some chats and so on. He's basically the same like he's in his videos. Really nice guy. Yeah, he's going very hard with YouTube videos, with uploads. It's kind of going all in. He's uh, self-employed. So he's not working for anyone for some fixed hours, so he can kind of do that. But yeah. anyways, it's a lot of time to work on those videos. Where are you reading from this comment what we are not seeing? Oh, sorry, we have running. We don't have chat on the screen. Sorry for that. Let me see, is it completely broken? But there is going chat. Oh, actually. Actually, we can fix it like that. Uh, kinda. Oops, 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 oops. That's not what I wanted to do. Come back, come back, come back. Here you are. There is another chat. We have, we have actually two chats today. We have this is YouTube chat and this is Twitch chat. Yeah, secret chat exactly. Yeah, and Alex is going very hard in, in, into the YouTube. He's doing all those crazy tests for all the upcoming and new Max. It's just, it's crazy. But yeah, he's getting results. Focus bit. Good morning. YouTube chat didn't load for some reason. Yeah, YouTube chat sometimes is broken, but usually it kind of works. I I like chat better on Twitch and player better on YouTube, but nah. Eh. <laughs> Actually, folks, but really switch it to the flutter. <laughs> it's kind of... It was kind of long... Uh, it was uh, it was, it was kind of old joke, but now it's come true, yeah, you know. He's flutter developer now. And he even told me that flutter is... Actually, it's not so bad. It's kind of cool. Uh, 
currently working on Rust and Go. Yeah, but there was episodes a few weeks ago with deep diving in Flutter. I hope that wasn't a secret. Yeah, crazy, you know. But I am staying strong. No flutter here. No flutter on this machine. Okay. Actually, I'm lying. Probably. <laughs> About this machine, maybe it was kind of... Uh, let me see. I was Mayers. Yeah. There is flutter. But okay, it's... October 2021, I didn't touch it for a while, you know. And there is some old Flutter version. Do you know why Sean Allen switching for contract, contract work? I don't have any insights, but I think he's just kind of want to be in touch with... Uh, kind of other developers and so on because you are if you are doing for long time just uh, creating content and so on and so on it's a it's a bit lonely uh, lonely lonely because he's not doing streaming i have you guys thank you <laughs> i can chat with you but if you're just sitting in your apartment and kind of pushing out youtube videos basically it's kind of lon lon lonely kind of thing uh, that's one thing. Also, you kind of on your own, you do not learn from others and so on. And I think he, this, I, I don't think that is kind of money thing because uh, he could push out more uh, programming courses and made more money. I, th I don't think that's money thing. I think it is exactly like that like more to get back into the working together with someone and so on and so on. Uh, the app he's making for YouTube is not earning much, let me say so. He was kind of open about his numbers, he's not making much money. As indie developers, that application is not kind of success story, uh, but he is making uh, good money from his uh, sponsorships on YouTube videos, and he is doing good money from his courses. He published his revenue numbers, I don't know, a year ago or something. It was something like 300k in a year. That's not bad for US. Not crazy much, you know, but. That's not bad. I'm still hunting paycheck instead of doing contract work. Didn't dare to jump yet. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Should you? You have very well kind of paid paycheck work, so it's kind of relatively, well, if, if it is laid back kind of work, so why not? Yeah. Uh, Sean, Sean Allen's courses are great. I like them and I kind of generally kind of like them and recommend them to others because I, I like them. And... Uh, but he published, he released a big part of his courses for free already because they are outdated and probably he's working. He definitely is working on new courses because I know he's working on the Visionos courses and so on. So he's not planning to kind of drop somehow that uh, content creation and coursework and so on. He just want to get around. As are those. I work 37 health benefits. 35 vacation days. That's great. I have 28 only. <laughs> I 
<laughs> switch to Linux. Why? I don't see why. So, Tom, Tommy, it, I, I do not see kind of any good reason actually for you to switch to the <laughs> contract to work. <laughs> I, yeah, of course, depends. Not everyone is the same, but I, I would, in, if I would be in your shoes, I would kind of keep working that kind of a relatively chill paycheck job and looking how to, what is in my interests, how to maybe invest money to earn back somehow or build business. Switching to the contract, eh. Yeah. I was 16, but still good. Yeah, those courses are great. It's more about freedom. Eh, I don't know. Is that freedom if you are if you are contracting? You are still kind of selling your life into smaller pieces, you know. Uh, you're just you're still selling your time if you are contracting. You are kind of you earning more but you are taking kind of more risks a little bit more stress and so on but i don't know yeah and also kind of that mortgage contract with uh, kind of full-time nine to five job is easier what do you think about ios certifications uh, I don't even know what kind of certifications and where are available. I doubt anyone cares about IO certifications when uh, when hiring someone for work. Let me say it like that. My dream is to create my daily project management work and work for myself. Yeah, working for yourself, it's kind of cool. I think that's kind of real freedom if you if you build your own. I think that indie app kind of business, maybe also content creation and so on. Basically, if you are kind of how some kind of business, I think I feel that that is kind of freedom. But not working is not freedom. I, I'm not saying you should kind of have some passive revenue and do not work a day in the world and a day in a, in the life. It's. Uh, uh, it's kind of dumb. It, it's not freedom. Freedom is basically work on what you like to do, when you like to do, and so on. So, And of course, in each and every job, even if it is your business, you will have kind of Mondays when you don't like to go to the job. It's fine time to time. But uh, for me, that freedom feels kind of working on what you like to work uh, when you want to work. And usually that's basically kind of building your own kind of stuff. Not working sucks. Yeah, I agree. I, I don't like not working. Vacations, that's a bit different, you know. You are kind of actively resting, spending time with family and so on, but not working for long periods of time, it's kind of, it's kind of sucks. You have freedom when you don't work for on anything. That's like a call freedom. No, I don't agree with that. Contracting, you still have both them. Yeah, exactly. Contracting is kind of different kind of type of employment. I'm dreaming this now for four years and still I'm working. Uh, you have to have some kind of plan, steps, and start to execute Vadim. That's kind of... It's kind of easy. It's very easy to say. It's hard to do, but you have to start. Certifications mean nothing. Yeah, I also I kind of feel like that. I'm not sure, but that's how I feel yeah, about certifications. Your work experience and so on. Basically, I think that your education, your certifications, your, I don't know, diplomas in something, those may help you get into the very first job because maybe you will help I don't know, 10 different candidates, you will have maybe about the same skills. 
but you will have those certificates. But also, even in that case, uh, that uh, interviewer will take a look on your communication skills, all that stuff, and those certificates will be somewhere on the bottom of the cons and, and pros, you know. But work is stress no matter what you're working on. Think about the hassle to finish your indie up in time, just to start generating money from it. Is that freedom or is that fresh stress? That is freedom. I don't like that. <laughs> Maybe that's the problem. Uh, I think that's the problem, folks, but you just don't like work. And not everyone likes work. It's fine, you know? There are plenty of people who just want to chill all day, every day. I, I'm not... I'm not like that. And also you can find plenty of different jobs, you know. It's kind of, uh, I don't know. This stream, for example, it's kind of work if we are talking that content creation is a job, but also I'm kind of chilling out with you here. It doesn't feel like job. When I'm building my own applications, if it is annoying, like it was today with Revenue Cat integration, it's kind of annoying, but I will not name it stress, you know, but nah, I don't know. I like to do that. I just need to take that step. Yeah, Vadim, you should. And that step should not be to kind of uh, drop your current job. That is just to plan what exactly you would like to achieve in about six months. And then kind of go, then kind of split that plan in what you have to do every month, then what you have to do every week, and basically what you have to do tomorrow. Basically decide today what you would like to achieve in six months. Write that down. Write that down what you will would like to achieve every month. And that's it, you know. <laughs> I hate my job. <laughs> that sucks really deeply. Work is work in the end. Uh, if you're working for yourself, I think it's different. Net positive for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you need to work with Python, you. Yeah, I feel. I, I understand those feelings, you know. I want my husband to support me and be a housewife, but he makes me go to work. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was I told my wife a few times to be housewife, but she don't really want to. And I also don't really want that for her because I know that she maybe will be kind of happy for a few months. But then she's she's basically also kind of do her and do her and get her and, and, and she likes to be active and have some successes in life and everything and I don't see her just chilling out for years, you know, with doing nothing. Five years is enough in the same place. Me, yeah. Yeah, maybe you also maybe you just need to kind of switch jobs and companies that also kind of refreshing sometimes and always you, you always should do that with jump in salary you know significant jump in salary she's lying she wants to work <laughs> yeah 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 i can't believe it <laughs> I the, the chat is already uh, silent because Tommy moved over to the YouTube chat. I'm software customer support. I hate my job too. Yeah, support is kind of always hard because no one is calling to you to say thank you. I work with awful manager. That sucks. Yeah, also yeah. Despite that, I will be more happy. <laughs> and no, <laughs> from Fox. <Volksbitt. laughs> yeah. 
customer support is kind of, I think that sucks. Yeah. Uh, oh, Paul is Paul woke up in the second chat on the oh wrong button, this button. Did you see the M4 will have AI on it? No, I didn't follow any rumors about uh, M4. I don't know. But yeah, probably. I think that this year in WWDC should be about AI. If that will not be about AI, I will be surprised and kind of scared about what Apple is doing and why Apple is not doing anything. So that should be yeah. hard because you have to deal with public yeah with people yeah exactly yeah <laughs> python is like whole <laughs> well all i'm thinking to learn besides the swift power power b what what's power b power b i don't know what's that Oh, guys, we actually made to tomorrow. We have everyone how to go to sleep already, actually. For us guys in uh, in Baltics, it is already tomorrow. Foxbit is in yesterday still, but anyways. It would be funny when Apple introducing AI on Macos and invite <laughs> Google to talk about it. <laughs> too early. No, not too early. I'm waking up at uh, after five o'clock. Database migrations. Guys, why are you working so late? So crazy hours. Martins and Yekaterina, you are crazy. It's yeah, Foxbit is in yesterday, still in yesterday, as I told, yeah. We are in the future for you. You are working crazy hours. I'm sometimes uh, are on late streams, but I'm usually just kind of chilling, you know. Who is working? Martin and Yekaterina, migrating databases, crazy. From 11 till 6, then freelance work. Nah, yeah. Yeah. When I was, when I was switching careers from product management to programming, then I was working crazy hours. Nowadays, I kind of, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I'm staying applied, but Let's be real. This is not work. <laughs> Just barely implement, implemented one library in the Xcode and basically then file it to continue with that. Officially working 7.5 hours. Oh, interesting. And half of that is half of our lunch time. To 15 minutes it's cr crazy do you really it's it's so strict really how do we you get your contracts ah it's kind of uh, here you have about my contracts I don't want to say my schedule and I have to teach work my day job and freelance send it. Crazy, crazy. Fire up six card. Let's work on some. Nah, I'm already closed. Late night hustle. Oh, yeah. Doing your stuff some. 15 means. So, X1X. 
<laughs> Martin's is really great. I, I, I see, yeah, I see. It's sounds crazy. I said off still number now cars how I can not Yeah. I can guess, yeah. How many hours you have in your load? <laughs> you know, for me it's kind of easy in that case. Basically I have I have freelance project. When I have tasks, I work on tasks. When I don't have tasks, I have lunch time. For whatever hours I have. We have three dogs and two cats. That bills are expensive. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm going with Luca tomorrow to show him to the vet. Basically, he scratched his neck uh, on last week. We went to the vet. It was quite cheap, just 70 euros. 70, I mean, euros. Uh, I, I saw bigger kind of vet bills. <laughs> But anyways, it's kind of it's still more than I'm paying for doctor's visit, you know. And yeah, tomorrow I'm kind of going to kind of show how he's how his scratch on neck is kind of uh, healing. I don't know how much I will pay for that. Yeah, I know. And then you sleep. Yeah, exactly. So if I make two hours lunch, I make two hours lunch. Nobody cares. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my dog definitely works hard there. Yeah, I, Tommy, I, uh, to be frank, I just do not see why you should switch to contracting, really. You, you, you just mentioned it previously, just some uh, average kind of uh, numbers on, on, on revenue. So, pff, I, uh, for, uh, for the Ireland, for the European Union, those are really great numbers. That's amazing salary. You not sweating much on the job. I don't... I don't see why should you switch to contracting to earn a little bit more, but you are sacrificing all the chill in your life. Why? I don't. I don't see. I just do not see why. And uh, yeah, if you would like to build some kind of business and so on, that's different. But you can do that on on your lunch breaks, you know. <laughs> We went to Zweck for about two months. We got 2,000 euro wet bill. Yeah. Yeah, this is crazy. Well, I started my own business. So, stick with this job. I, I don't see... You, you don't need contracting. You don't need it. Uh, but why Lucas scratched his neck? Uh, I don't know, actually. He was... He was short fight with one dog on the street. I remember some time ago, maybe that was the reason. Then he visited also kind of this, how you name it, dog groomer, dog barber. Basically, we cut him. So maybe there was some kind of scratch. And basically, he got probably some infection a little bit. And then he started to scratch and kind of, that's it, you know. Yeah, that's Tommy. That's what I mean, you know. Going to do some dishes. I'm going to sleep, guys. So it was super fun uh, to have the stream and hang up with you. H hang up, whatever. To have a chat with you. Hang up. Yeah, my English is getting. With every hour awake, my English is getting worse and worse, you know. <laughs> so I'm going to sleep now. It's uh, I'll, I'll, I'll already kind of half past midnight. Tomorrow, no stream, hangout. Yeah, hangout, exactly, hangout. Yeah, 
tomorrow it's no stream currently we are on very very kind of bad streaming schedule maybe once in a week so tomorrow i will not manage to stream definitely we'll see how that will go next week so thank you everyone for coming see you on next one bye bye